Okay, I have as a sound founder PI car X AI car kit. The first step you need to do is you need to calibrate the servo motors, right? So I was doing the middle of uh, assembling and I have to calibrate the servo motor. Sometimes you already fix everything, and if that case, just un you know unscrew everything and try to take it out and try to. Uh, Calibrate this, otherwise you going to have issues. It's not going to be, uh, not going to work with your code and everything. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to calibrate. Before we calibrate, there's a bunch of things to do. Uh, now I have Raspberry Pi four uh, already assembled with the Pi uh, board with the Sound Founder board. As you can see and I put the two batteries these batteries are, are 18650 uh, 18650 I purchased from Amazon separately because the this kit doesn't come with the battery so I have to purchase separately um, I put the link to my uh, my video description field if you want to purchase so you can purchase from Amazon and you can see I just plug to this and now you can see it's on to turn lights everything on uh, remember when you turn this on the Raspberry Pi board also going to turn it on so it's going to run everything now the first thing we need to do is we need to install the OS to the SD card so you can see I have a SD card here I have a scan disk, uh, scan disk 128 GB, uh, 32 GB is enough, so I have 128 GB. So I'm going to put into my Windows machine. I'm going to download the software now. So here, go to Raspberry Pi software, a Raspberry Pi image, download for Windows click download after download uh, run the setup yeah, it's very pretty uh, straightforward just click install button going to install I already install so I'm not going to uh, install it again so once you have this uh, what you need to do here is you need to choose the device uh, your device will be Raspberry Pi 4 so because we have Raspberry Pi 4 the sound founder as per today's date 11 27 2023 they don't support Raspberry Pi 5 so make sure if you have Raspberry Pi 5 don't try to connect because the voltage having issues Raspberry Pi 5 need more voltage and it's going to damage your board or damage anything so make sure you don't use the Raspberry Pi 5 till Sun Founder confirms uh, so use the Raspberry Pi 4 or the version uh, whatever the version you have uh, I believe only Raspberry Pi 4 is support I'm not sure but you can take a look so normally I use the Raspberry Pi 4 the choose the operating system is the default recommended the all the way top choose that and choose your storage here and click next and in here uh, it ask you would you like to apply OS custom customization settings so you can click edit and you can you set your name uh, uh, password your Wi-Fi password and everything and services enable SSH everything right the only thing is you can't set up the IP address remember that so would you like to apply the OS customer you can just click the yes and do it because I already running one uh, this is the one is running already so it's uh, 76 seven percent so it takes few more minutes once it's done uh, we'll come back to that um, end screen okay we can see it's finished uh, it says Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit has been written to mass storage device USB device. You can now remove this decal from the reader. Now I'm going to click continue. 
going to close this i'm going to jump into my the kit you can see the the body um i already put the sd card you can see in here i'm not sure you can see this you can see in here i already put the sd card now everything uh, the half body right so what we need to do is we need to calibrate calibrate the server motor so for this uh you know what i need some space so i'm going to remove this box so i have now some space here uh, you can see i'm just assembling and i have to uh, calibrate this servo motor now before we calibrate we put the sd card in here to raspberry pi 4 now i plug the power cable in here so i'm going what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the the keyboard so make sure you connect the keyboard and mouse if you know how to ssh and everything you don't need to be worried if you know the power ip address uh, so you don't need to be worried so for me, i'm going to show you whoever the people don't know how to you know get the ip address and stuff so normally they need to connect the keyboard and the mouse okay so i have my keyboard in here and the mouse already connected now the next thing is i need to connect the uh, vga uh, monitor okay hdmi so connect the hdmi your monitor and we're going to start up so now it's going to start up and we're going to jump into the raspberry pi os okay now you can see my right side you uh, can see the raspberry pi 4 board with the sun found uh, robot hat all connected and now we connect the uh, you can't see uh, my HDMI port by I RDP, RDP to the machine but now I'm inside of this Raspberry Pi you can see in here now the first thing is you don't know the IP address right so normally you install the OS USD card but you have no idea how to SSH because you don't know the IP address so normally if you go all the way right in in here you can see wireless network you can see the ip address in here uh, let me put the password um, if you roll over your mouse you will see the ip address now think that your wi-fi didn't connect to the raspberry pi right wi-fi didn't connect to this so what you need to do here is you click here oops again let me put the password oh system policy prevents wi-fi scans i'm not going to scan anything okay i'm not going to scan so in here you can connect to whatever the wi-fi network from here so you already connected okay so that's how you know the ip address so you can ssh so if you can't ssh just make sure you go to the preferences uh, i'm going to use the make sure not this preferences pi configuration in here you can change the password if you want change your host name uh, it's good practice to have a good password display interfaces normally enable ssh so once this ssh enable you can uh, ssh from windows machine uh, it, it's recommended because we're going to run some script uh, so it's good to copy from the sunfound website and paste it over there i'm going to show you how to ssh to this machine so that's the basic one you need to 
C from this. Uh, so you don't need to connect all this keyboard and stuff. So I'm going to uh, actually close this. Me. Going to close this session because I RDP. I'm going to show you how to SSH. So now we open the command. I'm going to move this a little bit over here so you can see. Uh, right. So normally what you need to do, you need to SSH to this board. And I'm going to take off the, all the keyboard stuff. So you don't need. Okay. So now you everything Wi-Fi, wireless. It's nothing connected other than the uh, sun, for our sun founder, all these gadgets. Okay. So normally you SSH uh, username. Uh, my username PA actually no SSH and username PA4 and the IP address which I show you how to look 2168 is the password so now we able to SSH uh, if you want to know how to RDP uh, look my uh, videos in my channel I have a separate video how to RDP to a Raspberry Pi 5 actually Raspberry Pi 5 and Pi 4 are same so you can watch those videos I'm not going to cover those stuff in, in this video so now we able to SSH from my Windows box okay next let's uh, set up uh, the uh, all the modules now you can see in my right side the sound founder give all the information so I'm going step by step and you can see uh, the board is connected power is on Raspberry Pi 4 is running the OS and I SSH in here so first is we normally need to uh, update sudo apt update this is a must you always update your raspberry pi 4 of the version you're working on apt uh, upgrade so we're going to do the upgrade so update upgrade is done i'm going to clear and next is uh, we says python 3 related packages must be installed if you are installing the light version os going to copy this I'm going to paste it here I'm going to hit enter uh, so you can see just install everything I'm going to clear I'm going to clear because um, you can see everything and the next option is install robot hat so I'm going to copy this I'm going to put it here It says uh, it's running a bunch of stuff. Remember that the uh, P PI Kix have two options. I think uh, block and Python from the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to install directly from the Raspberry Pi mm. because uh, the 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 board came with version 3 I didn't get the version 4 so version 4 have a different options if you get the version 4 make sure you check uh, but everything are same you know this is how you need to install um, so seem like there's a lot of things going on install use the local Python 3 uh, believe it's installing the necessary all this stuff to run so let's wait and see what's going on let's <coughs> take some time I don't want to miss this um, so I'm going to show you everything so it's installing the dependencies 
so update uh, so make sure that uh, use the the correct board raspberry pi 4 i'm using raspberry pi 4 8 gb and as i told you if you have raspberry pi 5 don't use it until uh, sound founder give instruction okay now it's done so next says then download and install the vi vb module so i'm going to copy and i'm going to clear this so we have a clear picture we paste we're going to enter so now it's downloading and install the vi module <coughs> so now installing the dependencies cannot um, so everything installing um, remember my let me uh, quickly jump into the my the board you can see uh, it's running everything with these two batteries uh, so it's going to be pretty awesome don't see any blinking lights or anything just green light so let's jump into the <coughs> ssh um, so installing so let's wait and see lot of bunch of dependencies in installing hopefully we don't get any er errors so that's why you need to have like a like a fresh copy raspberry pi os so you don't get any issues uh, if you get issues you know if you want to troubleshoot just try to get a latest raspberry pi os to the SD card uh, if you still get areas probably check your SD card probably change your SD card sometimes SD card giving you issues so make sure you have a good SD card uh, me video capture hopefully I can bring up this yeah. Okay, I'm just want to show you in here. This is my so you can see everything in one place. My pressures, sound founder. Uh, kit, PI car X AI car kit. Uh, you can see I didn't connect any 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 other stuff only the battery pack Raspberry Pi board and the robot hat you can see in here it's sound so you get easy block so you have another option to install the easy block uh, the thing is I have version 3 so they same version 4 okay seems like it's finished I'm going to quickly uh, hide this stuff so you can see now next is uh, download and install PA car X module okay let's copy this uh, I'm going to clear in here so you can see we are in a directory okay So seems like we uh, pulling files from GitHub. Uh, make sure GitHub is accessible from your home network or whatever the network you're using, or probably in office or anywhere. 
if something goes wrong you are having issues make sure uh, just type in a web browser this link and see if you are able to access there are so many companies so many stuff they block github so make sure you are able to access to github okay seems like it's done don't see any error messages so we done with the download install picker x module next step this step will take a little while so please be patient okay finally you need to run the script i s i2 smap.sh to install the components required by the i2's amplifier otherwise the pkr x will have no sound wow okay let's see a bunch of stuff we need to run i'm going to do a clear so we have clear picture okay support for your apprentice experimental please visit forms few experiences with this product the script will install everything needed to use Amplify. okay warning always be careful when running script and command script from the internet ensure they are from a trusted source if you want to see what this script does before running it you should run curl as is github shows raspberry pi install a script to sm use to continue uh, I believe Sun Founder. Anyways, my Raspberry Pi uh, not a big deal. So do you want to question? Yes. So adding the device tree entry to the boot can be txt command team blacklist entry disabling default sound drive confirm sound output install uh, player system unit. You can optionally activate. Okay, or oh, not uh, activate. Okay, I'm going to use another Y recommended. Create S. Okay, what's going on? All done. Enjoy a new I2S amplifier. Some changes made to your system require your computer to reboot to take your FA. Would you like to reboot now? You know what? What the uh, the official sound founder saying that? Okay, they says you says try Y. Press enter to continue running script okay this is why again enter okay type why i'm going to reach out the picker okay so i'm going to do y to restart <coughs> you can see my ssh got disconnect um you can do in the raspberry pi board uh, directly then you can open the no, they have site link from uh, side by side. You can run it. Okay, you can see a sound. I'm not sure if you can hear. I hear a sound. So that's mean the uh, SPI PI board back in action. I'm going to do my password. Okay, I'm about to log in let me bring up the okay what say if there's no sound after restarting you may need to run script several times okay so i hear sound so i don't need to run anything uh okay click next okay now we see enable i2c interface important here we are using the raspberry pi i2 interfaces but by default they are disabled so we need to enable them first input the following command okay but to a clear i'm going to show sudo raspi config oops sudo raspi config okay so it says choose interfacing options uh, by press this down scroll and keyboard press the enter key interface option okay let me go interface option okay say then i to c okay let's go to i to c and after that it says use the arrow keys on the keyboard select yes okay to complete the setup i to c so i'm going to click enable okay you can see okay uh after 
after finish select yes after you select finish the probably will command that you need to reboot the settings take the click yes okay i didn't get the reboot stuff but i'm going to say so you know what for to make better things i'm going to sudo uh, reboot yes so uh, you can see the system will reboot now also want to bring up the the device oops uh, i'm going to keep the device in here actually i don't want to get messed up with everything so i'm going to do a clear clear I'm going to ssh again it is rebooting actually it's still rebooting so that's why i can't ssh Hmm. Okay, probably take some time. T meanwhile, I'm going to click next. Oh, I see. This says so. I just want to import the angle. Okay, now we can do the. I'm going to can do a search. password okay so now uh, in the instruction says the angle range of the cell is 90 okay but the angle set at the factory is random maybe zero maybe 45 per, uh, so okay if we assemble it with the such an angle group it will lead to catholic state after the robot runs the call or worse it will cause the server to back and burn out so here we need to set all the server angles to zero okay and then install them so that the server angles is in the middle no matter which direction to run okay. to ensure that server has been properly set to zero the first insert the server arm into the server shaft okay and then gently rotate the rocker arm to a different angle this server arm just to allow you to clearly see what the server is rotating now run server you are in the example folder okay I'm going to copy i'm going to paste it here Okay, um, just okay. It's running actually. So, uh, next is next plug the server cable into the P11 port as follows. Okay. At the same time, you will uh, see the server arm rotate to a position such as the zero position, which is random location and may not be vertical or parallel. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do a. Uh, so you can see and I'm going to <coughs> you can see my uh, so motor p11 so now if you try to find the p11 uh, let me see where's the p11 is it's so somewhere okay you can see the numbers from here not sure if you can see it uh, let me jump back to the other one so you can see it properly okay so there's a numbering scheme see zero to uh, all the way here to 11 okay so we need to use the 11 so this is the p11 okay now when you take this cable also make sure the cable color match so you can see the brown yellow so i don't see the brown but i see uh yellow so i'm going to use oh you know what i see the red red in the middle you can see so red goes to middle yeah so yellow go to this side so black brown are same 
So I'm going to. Oh, I hear a sound. Yes. It did something. I hear the sound because you can't see it. Let me get another one. So you can get a clear picture. What's going on? I'm going to unplug. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put it like this. Oh, see? It, it just rotate. Let me, let me put it somewhere. Yes. It just went nice. So, oops, too bold. So once it anger, it's not going to rotate again because it's already dead. You know. So you need to unplug uh, if you want to rotate to test it out. Now. back you can see change now and let's do the next one so we need to do the both uh, so models so I'm going to use these again p11 uh, actually this one No one. Probably I need to take this one out. It's not doing anything. Oh, you know what? They put it the wrong way. Yeah, man. scary <laughs> so let's see I'm going to put like this so normally this is going down it's going like this so uh, put the cable wow. so it's went all the way down okay does, does that need to go more? Yeah, you know what? I need to take this part out and do the uh, calibrate again. Let me take this one out. Okay, just took it out. Now, so I have these two server motors like this. Uh, I'm going to change both and make it come back to the correct place. Make sure you uh, okay. The change that's good. That's how you calibrate because the uh, the code is running in the Raspberry Pi. Okay, okay. Now we are done with the calibration, so you can see it just calibrate. Okay, th now this thing, uh, let me jump into this one. Uh, so they saying that do not unplug the this servo cable before fastening this servo with the servo screw. You can unplug after fastening. Do not turn the servo's power on to avoid damage. If the servo shaft is inserted in the wrong angle, pull up the servo and reinstall it. Before assembling each server, you need to plug the server cable into P11. Turn the power to set it to angle zero. That's right. You know, let me jump in here. Because when we screw, this can change, you know. Like this, it can change. So for that reason, uh, we need to plug this. 
okay now we need to do the necessary stuff because now you cannot move this it's, it's tight okay now uh, let me <coughs> take this part out okay now what we need to do here is plug this one okay so uh, I'm not going to show you now uh, to assemble the part because we already do the calibration part now we each uh, servo motor to assemble you need to plug to the p11 then assemble once the, this one assemble then unplug put that other cable back in to the p11 and assemble so it's not going to change the direction so that's how you do it uh, actually I'm going to create a whole video uh, so I'm going to put this one in a separate video so how you know how to do the calibration part I'm also doing the big video that everything in one so stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel and we're going to assemble all this kit